that is Creatures of Scenario's newest biggest creature and I'm pretty sure you want to be the first of your friends to get it. So here's the three fastest ways to do it. If you click the buy creatures tab in the menu and scroll until you get to the mutation gotcha you will notice that it's gone. It got replaced with a new Mecha Explorer gacha and the Monster Explorer gacha. And in the new Monster Explorer gacha, we have the Korathos. But we can't just spin this Monster Explorer gacha because why would the developers ever make anything easy for you? Instead, we have to obtain a Monster Explorer gacha token first. That doesn't sound that bad, right? Wrong. This is by far the hardest token to get. So how do we get this token as fast as possible? Well, first you need to get your fastest flying creature. I prefer the Sturby myself because um... After that, you can spawn in and get hit by the harsh reality that it needs to be famine or drought. You can check this by looking at the top right of your screen, by the way. Now, if it's either of those seasons, great, you can get the token. If not, I am so sorry for the amount of stress you're about to go through. Because if it's not famine or drought, the token you're looking for will not spawn. So uh, here's some info in case it's neither of those seasons in your game. Uh, hopefully it makes it a little easier for you. Anyways, once it's either famine or drought, you will have to fly around until you find a token. A Monster Explorer gacha token will probably look something like this in game. After you collect one, go back to the menu and go to the Monster Explorer gacha. Here you have to pay 600 mushrooms on top of getting the token to get a 25% chance of getting one. A whopping 25% chance, huh? So basically, after spinning the gacha, after doing all this hard work, you can go ahead and cry because you will probably get a creature that you did not really want. And then, you will have to get another token because you can only use the Monster Explorer gacha token once. How fun. If this is too much of a hustle, there are two other simpler ways to get it, which I will go over very soon. But first, let's ask ourselves the question, is it really worth getting this species? Well, let's break down the Korathos to see if it's a good species for you to get. First, the stats. From the unfinalized stats that we have so far, it looks like it's gonna be really, really strong. The damage is 500, which is pretty solid, but with added bleed, toxin and a breath, it will probably literally kill anything on its path. Besides that, it also has two attacks. We have a normal bite, which every creature has, and a tail wag. Ah, well, don't see that one very often now, do you? So let's put the damage around, um... Yeah, that works. But what about defense? Well, because I can defend itself from behind and in front with a huge amount of HP, I'd put the defense around 90. Now you might be wondering, does it even have any bad stats? Well, this is where mobility comes into play. First of all, it's slow. Like, really, really, really slow. And on top of that, it doesn't really seem to want to turn in the test realm, but I'm pretty sure that's because it's uh, it's in early development, and this will probably be changed once it's released. But for now, I'm gonna put this around a 10. Okay, now, why did I put weight on the stat list? Well, weight has a lot to do with the previous stats. For example, if your weight is higher than the creatures you are fighting, you will do more damage to them, and they will do less damage to you. And considering how this creature's weight is 140,000, I'd say that we can put the weight on max. Now there's one more stat which is cost. Now this leads back to the other two ways of getting them. One of them is trading. If we consider how much effort it's gonna take to get one of these creatures, I'm guessing it's gonna be really expensive for the first week when it's out. However, there's one more way to get it, which is buying a stored version. To do this, you can click your mush in the menu and go to creatures. Here you can buy a stored version, but keep in mind that if your stored version dies, you will have to buy another one to play as it again. So what would I rate the price at? Well, I think it's safe to put it somewhere in the middle for what you really get. Anyways, I really hope this helped you out. Um, um, subscribe.